this is like so weird coming back all this time later to film and sit in front of a camera it feels really really weird to me so hopefully this comes naturally again because it's kind of weird it's kind of strange oh hey what's up you guys welcome to my channel or if you're new welcome back to my channel um it's pro probably got a little uglier probably got a little fatter than you remember but like here we are um today i thought i would just do my makeup and um, kind of catch you up on where I've been. I've tried filming other videos and it just feels weird because I have been gone for so long So I feel like there needs to be some sort of an explanation before I start diving in and like doing videos again and stuff like that <laughs> Like I have fans that really care <laughs> so today I'm just gonna do makeup and um, Kind of tell you about where I've been I'll show you the products that I'm using too. Um, so first I don't use primer. I use moisturizer first um, I use this. It's very gentle on my skin. Doesn't matter if your skin is oily or or dry. It's really good to just like have a nice moisturized face. Ironically, the whole reason why I well, I guess there's two reasons why I haven't been on YouTube. First one being that I guess I ran out of ideas and stuff when it came to content, and so I didn't know what to post and I didn't want to just post like things that I wasn't proud of. Okay, so now we're gonna go in with this. It's the NARS Pure Radiant Tinted Moisturizer. Because it's getting like warmer where I am, I don't wear full foundation, I just wear tinted moisturizer. Anyway, I just didn't know what to post. Like I had ideas of things to post, but I just didn't think any of them were good and I didn't want to waste my time on posting things that were in the end just going to be, I wasn't gonna be proud of. I don't want to look back on my channel and think that I didn't put in my full effort or I was just posting to post, you know? So there's reason number one. <laughs> um, my second reason was that I, I deal with a skin condition. condition. Some of you follow like a lot of my social medias and you know that I didn't post on Instagram. I didn't post like really anywhere. If I can find the clip where I literally have a breakdown about my skin, I'll insert it here. I'm literally not doing well because I'm getting fat, my face is like not getting any better, and I don't know what to do. But basically I had a really rough going with my skin, like this whole eye right here, it looked like someone had punched me in the face, and like I was so self-conscious about it, I had multiple like meltdowns about it because I was just... I was going through like really hard spurts of like my depression and that was part of the reason why it was like causing some of that because I didn't feel confident in myself and in my skin because literally guys like I wish I could show you a picture of it but like I don't think I took any pictures of myself for a good solid few months. I didn't want to go out anywhere like you can ask some of my friends like I would I didn't even want to go to class because um Life update I started college and I didn't even want to go to class half the time because I was so self-conscious about Going and people seeing my skin because it was so noticeable because I wasn't even like I couldn't even wear makeup to cover it up Like it literally looked it was like scaly um rashes all over my eyes and my face and I had a really, really hard time. I was in a really, I know every YouTuber is like, I was in a dark place, but I really was like, I, if anyone else deals with eczema, like let me know, talking in circles. But basically, yeah, I had really, really bad eczema and it wasn't until, um, oh, bronzer. I used the Lancome Dual Finish and I'm just gonna bronze today. I'm going for a more natural look because it's not like I'm going anywhere, so. So it all started when before it's kind of around Christmas time. I started getting like these rashes under my eyes and on top of my eyelids and they were make being, they're really, really itchy. And at first I thought, oh, maybe it's just like my eyelash extensions. Well, I took those off when I got home from California because I was in California at the time, um, the day after Christmas. And I ended up getting them taken off because I was like, I can't handle it anymore. Like maybe my eyes just need a break. I don't know. So I took them off and nothing changed. If anything, it got worse because I was rubbing my eyes and when I have lash extensions, I don't rub my eyes. Um, I took them off and things just were getting worse and I literally tried every cream in the book. 
I was trying everything that I could. Anything that anyone said would work for rashes, I was putting on my skin. So like Neosporin, I tried like a whole different assortment of creams. Like you should see my drawer, it's literally ridiculous, which is why I kind of want to do a video on if any of you guys deal with eczema out there how I dealt with my eczema because now like my skin is pretty good for the most part like basically I tried every cream on the market and just nothing was working for me until I went to the doctor and the doctor told me that I had cellulitis which I don't know if you guys know what that is but that's like a really serious like dangerous thing to have you don't want to mess around with cellulitis um, but basically he said that I had the classic symptoms of cellulitis but I ended up going after my antibiotic was out, I ended up going to the dermatologist because as soon as I got off my antibiotics, the stuff started coming back. So I was like, I can't handle this anymore. Like I, whenever I think things are getting better, they're actually not. So I went to the dermatologist and say, I have a history of eczema. I had it when I was a little girl. Um, but like it was only when I was a kid, like I've only had eczema as a kid. So I didn't think it was that big of a deal until I went into the dermatologist and he looked at my chart and was like, I see that you have like a history of eczema. And I was like, yeah, I haven't had it since I was little or whatever. And he's like, well, you have, he like looked at my skin and was like doing like different things. And he's like, honestly, he's like, this is a, he's like, because you have a history of eczema, you, this is because I told him, actually, I'll show you. I don't know if you could see kind of on my arm. Do you see kind of like the rash right there? Or like on this one, you'll probably see it better. Do you see those like little rashes right there? So he, at the time, I didn't have those on my arms. But he had told me, he's like, uh, you have a history of, it's, okay, it's called atopical dermatitis if it's like on your face. It's just a fancy word for it, but really it's just eczema. Um... I had eczema and then put me on this steroid cream, which I still use to this day because I, even though I'm not supposed to, <laughs> he said it will damage my skin, but like I use the steroid cream because if I don't, it comes back. He prescribed me Eucrisa, but basically um, that was a big reason why I wasn't on here is because of my skin, but I just wanted to give you guys an update because I wanted to find out if I'm like the only one out of my audience that I do videos for that has eczema or if it's more common I don't know or like tips and tricks of like what you guys do to uh, deal with it because I'm still learning like I have it for the most part under control so if you guys do have it I can do like on a video on like how I manage my symptoms because I didn't know this but actually eczema is a autoimmune disease and I've never been super candid on camera about these kind of things, but I also have another autoimmune disease, which I don't really want to get into. Like, maybe at some point when I'm more comfortable, I can do a whole video on kind of like my health journey and things that I've been through health-wise. But like, I don't know. I feel like that's too much of an update for like this video. You know what I mean? And my camera's dying. But I just, that's really the whole reason why I haven't been posting. Not because like I don't want to or anything like that. And I'm really hoping to revive my channel actually because there's just, I don't know. You can ask my friends. Like I'll always be like, oh, I want to film this video. Oh, I want to film this video. And I just haven't. Which brings me to my other thing is I kind of, not only was I dealing with eczema, but since I am a college student, I just didn't have the time to invest into my YouTube channel once I started college and life and just drama, which I have like multiple stories about. Anyway, yeah, that's really the tea. And I really wanna start making content. So like if you guys have any suggestions on what you wanna see on my channel, then like you can leave that below because I do have a few ideas that are coming up. I tried to film a transformation video, but that honestly flopped so hard because it's been so long. I don't even know if anyone's even watching this video, so I mean, I guess we'll find out, right? <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, a lot of you probably follow me because I'm a Harry stan and stuff, but I also ran out of ideas because like Harry, there's nothing going on with him. So like I didn't know what to film when people were wanting videos about kind of like fangirling about Harry and stuff just because he wasn't giving out content for me to 
react to or for me to really do stuff with. So like I got caught up in that type of thing where it was like, I don't know what to post. That's really all I have to say. That's all my life updates. At least in a nutshell that I'm going to be on the internet.